friends. Let's start this week with picking up Patreon Mail Club. I had to pack so many rewards this time, my sticker sheet tier even sold out, so thank you very much. So in this video we will unbox very exciting new products together and prepare them for my show update. I will also let you know where I let them made. And some of the clips are from before my last show update as I had no time to use them for another video like the unboxing. But yeah, I think it still fits in this video so I just throw it in. So enjoy that little vlog of me working for my small business. Hello my lovely YouTube friends and welcome back to a new week of me working on my small business in my cozy little studio up in the mountains. Um, yeah, there was a little shop update a few weeks ago and I just was so busy that I haven't filmed my usual shop update week videos that I really like to film. This is my favorite type of, yeah, filming my week video. So I still want to quickly show you the products that are now in the shop, especially 
my new and very first animal pins and patches that I created with GSJJ. I will put their link down in the description box. Uh, yeah, they make really amazing products. They are a bit more pricey than the manufacturers I usually use, but the quality is really way better. I nearly have no B grades in this order, so really amazing products. Yeah, let me show you. So I had to turn off my cozy little lights because yeah, the light was flickering. Uh, I hope that's not a problem. I just don't want to refilm this previous clip. Okay, so let me show you the cute new products. Uh, actually, the patch isn't in the shop yet, uh, as I need to make a packaging for them, and I just don't know what to make yet. Uh, so yeah, it will be up in my next job update, uh, where I will also have my very first clear stamps, uh, wooden stamps, and also sticky notes and new washi tape designs. Look at it. It is just so cute and it is so big. Uh, it has uh, like this iron on backing, so you don't have to sew it on your backpack or tote bag. You just can iron it on. Iron it on? I don't know. The other product that I was so excited about is the enamel pin. I always wanted to make enamel pins with my designs. I made a strawberry fox, of course, uh, a cute little sleepy fox with strawberries around. And yeah, I had to pick the colors uh, online because I don't have a Pantone chart at home. And yeah, I really need to buy one when I want to make more enamel pins as it's not that easy to pick them online. The strawberry and um, the leaf color, the green color, uh, they are really perfect. I pick them perfectly. But for me, the orange of the fox is a little bit too light, so I would have picked it darker, but I think it's still super, super cute. And yeah, I already have one on my bag and uh, yeah, I carry it everywhere with me. So let me tell you a bit about the company GSJJ or BPS where I got my enamel pins and patches from. They make lots of different enamel pin variations like hard or soft enamel pins, cutout pins or antique pins. They also make different variations of patches like the embroidered ones that I got or also woven patches or printed patches. And they also make magnets, buttons, labels, lanyards and really really nice ornaments that are perfect for Christmas or also as bookmarks. I'm really considering to get them for my Christmas shop update. The best part is that you can order any amount, they don't have a minimum order quantity. And they offer free shipping, which I never had before when working with a manufacturer. They also were very helpful during my design process and answered all my questions really, really quickly. I have added a link to the enamel pins and patches down in the description box if you want to order your custom designs and yeah, give them a try. And now let's keep preparing the cute enamel pins and put them on their baking cards so that they are ready to ship to their new homes.
I also packed the mail club for Patreon yesterday and it's already so much and the sticker sheet and sticker mail club bundle also sold out last month so now I added a little bit more spots to this. I think now it's 30 for the sticker sheet and sticker and also 30 for the bundle and 20 for the print. As you can see, it's not a lot. Most of the subscribers are choosing the bundle over the print. I also already finished, or already, I'm again late, but yesterday I finished uh, the June Mail Club Rewards. I have drawn everything on one day. Uh, I made the sketch on the weekend uh, for the print, but yesterday I've drawn the print, colored the print. Uh, then I've drawn the sticker sheet, the whole sticker sheet in one day and then also made a sticker and a bookmark design out of the elements I've drawn. I've never did that in one day. Normally it like, I don't know, takes a week or three days where I every day draw a little bit of it. So. I'm really proud of myself and I also like it because normally when I like stress myself that much to finish it in one day, I just don't like what I do because yeah, it's like rushing through it and then I just don't like the outcome. But this time I wasn't so stressed actually while drawing it and I really, really like how it turned out. I will show you, of course. So these are all the rewards together. Uh, that's the sticker sheet. So this month's theme is dogs and fox because I added one fox, I just had to. And there's also a little puppy basket. It is so cute. And this is the print. Also, do you recognize the dog? It's my dog. <laughs> it's little Misha. Uh, as an illustration. Actually, this was the one that was so hard for me to sketch. I don't know why, as I draw pet portraits all the time and it's never hard for me, but drawing my own dog is really hard <laughs> because he has such weird proportions. His head is so big and his body is like slim and long and it just looks so weird when drawing it. Um, yeah, and that's the bookmark and the sticker, so it fits perfectly all together. And yeah, you can subscribe for this till the end of June. And now I'm sending the mail club at the beginning of the following month, because sometimes it just happens that I pack mail club on the 27th of the month, and then I have uh, someone that subscribes on the 29th or on the 13th and then I have to pick them extra uh, and yeah that's just annoying <laughs> so I'm now picking everything on the first days of the following month and yeah so you have the whole month to subscribe for it if you want them and the sticker and sticker sheet will be a matte vinyl this time not um, transparent or glossy like last month so yeah, I really hope you like this month's rewards and that's it.